And in yeah. future, I mean, didn't occupy it, but man's was man's has a just a mag. I don't know if I was talking to you, but just immaculate consistency for solid, a uh, solid side character. What side character? He's, no. like, he's, he's a, a, a solid discography of just music from the early Atlanta days. He's definitely a, a time period piece, I think, unless it's like 2070 and he's still making music, which could be the case, but it sounds exactly the same. I think it might. Oh, well, his early stuff is very different than now, but I, I, I don't doubt. Like, I mean, there's always a little doubt, but I wouldn't be surprised if Future still made music late. Even though he's calling these, like a weird, like I miss like, like March Madness Future is dope. Like, this is dope, you know? He sounds like he doesn't cry in the shower. I don't know why <laughs> his character now. I don't know why his character is really, really good production. Solid production. Also, Always sounds uniquely future in his delivery and production, but he sounds like he just just curls up in a ball at night and says, why me? He's an anti-villain, bro. <laughs> How's that? What is an anti-villain? Sorry, I'm sorry. Anti-hero. It's not even anti-hero. No one feels like weird about the anti- like if if Deadpool was like, like said like, oh, I have a, I have a, I was about to say something weird. I didn't want to say that. I think he's an anti-hero because he's so just like, when you just look at him, like, like, I'm sure he's a great guy, but like in terms of his character, like his lyrics are just so like misogynistic and he just like abuses drugs and stuff. And just like, I think now it's like sad lyrics. I don't think it's like. Cool. I think it's sad lyrics because he's just like, he's realizing, yo, this life ain't all it's cracked up to be. I just want Ciara back. Like, ah, <laughs> oh, dude, it is all about Ciara. Huh? 